I'm on the other side of the screen, staring myself down. <clears throat> what is up, bears, and welcome back to my life. <laughs> Another day of my life, anyway. And welcome back to Bears Den. We are now home. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, so, yeah, right now, I am. Um, where's my phone? So, yeah, two Alright, I am about to head to work. It is, sorry for the shaky camera, 10.57 in the morning. Um, so, I'm about to go to the, the rest of the, to my job. And uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Um, so yeah, welcome back to my life. And uh, before we do anything today, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe. And uh, if you guys are not new, um, be sure to, you know, um, hit the um, like button and comment down below. And um, yeah, also this is for everyone, for the noobs and for the people who are loyal, whatever. Um, don't, uh, forget to add me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Yes, I do have a TikTok now. Um, I showed you guys yesterday. Um, so yeah. Today, I will be editing the rest of my vlogs and, um, posting those. Um, so yeah. Even though the end of them might look current, they're not. Um, so just be on the lookout, you guys, um, for those videos of the videos that I was at Houston, or I should say uh, Baycliffe, because that's where my sister lives. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys then. But until then, I'm going to go to work. So, oh. Yo, what is up, bears? Um, I just got done. Um, <clears throat> at work. Um, just left. Work, actually. It is now. Well, you are now looking at the ground. Hang on, guys. Two oh one. Two oh one, you guys. And this road is freaking loud, as you guys can tell. Like filled with like loud trucks and stuff. But right now, um, I'm gonna call my mom and let her know, cause right now, as of right now, I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> I know, right? You guys are like, you guys, you are freaking weird because you don't have a freaking driver's license. You're 21. You should have a driver's license. I know, you guys. I know. I'm trying really hard to uh, to get my license and all of that um, so um, now it's like 202 so um, I'm gonna call my mom and see where she's at and tell her that I'm walking right now um, and tell her that I'm out so I'm gonna call her right now let's call her that's the coolest ringtone I've ever heard, actually. Right. Hey, buddy. Hey, um, I just got out. Okay. All right. You'll be there in a few minutes. All right, I'm walking, so meet me at Walton Field. Yeah. All right, all right, bye. Okay. All right, guys. Um, yeah, that was my mom. She's awesome. So, Walton Field. I'm gonna meet her at Walton Field. You know what? It ain't worth it. It's not worth it. Oh my gosh. Changing my shoes, you guys. Flipping them over, actually. Alright, you guys. Let's 
continue this trek. So, that's why I don't have a license. Also, I just dropped my camera, so I might have just broken it. Um, that's why you keep your camera in a case when you're not, when you're not when you're, whatever, when you're not using it. That's not to say that I'm not ever going to use my camera again. Uh, hold on. Yeah. So my battery is good. Oh, oh, oh. Is good. What is this dog doing? Oh. I couldn't even see. I just... Ooh, tree, 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 tree. Tree! Oh, my goodness. Oh, that dog was going to... Dog was definitely gonna bite me. He was telling me. What the? Huh? Weird guys. Time to start running, I guess. Cause people don't know how to drive here. Thank you. As I was saying, people don't know how to drive here. They don't drive like a bat out of hell. Breaking like speed limits and all that. Oh gosh. I'm not afraid of anything. But I don't feel like dying. The only thing that I used to be afraid of was the dark and roller coasters. Still sort of afraid of roller coasters. Don't really like them, but the one thing that I will get on is a water ride. Um, like, dude, they need to put like tripping hazard all over that. Cause I just wrecked my freaking shoe. But yeah, they need to put chipping hands on there. But that is one thing that I will say about that. People drive like about out of hell, and I just don't really like it here. But it seems that that's becoming the trend. What the heck? You guys see the black cat? Let me know. See? Black cat. What was that? I have no idea what the hell that was. I thought that was a snake at first, actually. Yeah, um, this is basically my life after work. <laughs> kind of different, actually. I am getting tired. Um, that's actually kind of why I told my mom to meet me at Walton Field. Uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of Walton Field. But there's not really much going on here. As you guys can see, people drive like a bat out of hell. They uh, break the speed limit all the freaking time, and cops don't even like get onto them for it. Like, what the hell? and then they cut in front of people in the like, yeah, in traffic. So there's my mom right there, you guys. As you guys can tell, that's her car. It was fuzzy, but I'm gonna. So right now we're gonna um, go into town. As you guys can see, we're not in, in town yet. We're still in Kermit, where people drive like bats out of. Um, yeah, that word. 
HE11. <laughs> Helium 11 now. Um, yeah. But right now we're going into Odessa, right? Midland. Midland, Midland. We're going into Midland to uh, go to the eye doctor for my mom. She's not in frame. She is camera shy. She handles cameras, but she doesn't like being in front of cameras. Um, I can sort of understand because when I first got into cameras, I also, I mean, I was photogenic, yeah, but there's a difference between being nervously photogenic and photogenic. So yeah, I liked being behind the camera more than I did being in front of the camera, but now I like being in front of, I, I'm talking too much. What does that mean? What do you mean? You know, like, at school, when you're being forced to... Never mind. But yeah, um... Yeah, but now, now I'm becoming more photogenic as I use the camera. But yeah, we're going into town to do that. We're gonna return my mom's glasses, um, because they gave her the wrong prescription. Well, they didn't... Well, wait, what was it? They didn't put the bifocals in it? I don't know, they just aren't right at all. Yeah, they, they were totally wrong. Uh, but we're going into town to fix that, and then we're going into town to also get uh, animal stuff. Uh, rabbit food, uh, dog food, probably bird food too, huh? No, um, dog, cat, and bird. Dog, cat, and bunny. Um, so yeah, I know, guys. My face looks sunken in. Sunken in. I'm gonna take these off. These make my face look sunken in. Cause my face is longer than the glasses, so it makes my face look like a skull. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we're going into town for. Um, as you guys can see, it's still Flatlands, um, so we're not into Odessa yet. We're not even over the cap run, are we? Yeah. Um, the cap rock is kind of cool. It has history behind it as well, because uh, this land used to be what, an ocean? Yeah, it used to be an ocean, and I guess somehow it drained out. That's why the, all the wetlands here. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Wow. I did not know that. Um, but yeah, somehow the ocean dried out over time. Um, that's why they call it the Permian Basin. Um, because it used to be a basin of water. Um, but unfortunately now it's not. Um, the water dried out over time and created sand, which basically now we know as uh, sand. Yeah. Ground up rocks, pretty much. But, yeah. That's a little bit of history for the cap rock for you. If, you've, if you guys have never been to the uh, into Kermit or uh, whatever. Wow, look at that crack. Yeah, it got a lot worse. It, it did? Oh, we need to take it into, uh, we need to call Safe Flight. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, we're gonna, you know, fix your window fast. So it's, but it's expensive. It's, oh, really? It's three, four hundred dollars. Huh. Wow, they say they're affordable. It's almost four hundred dollars. How is four hundred dollars affordable to a to a? We're not really poor guys. We're middle class. But how is how exactly is that affordable to the middle class? I think they're all like that. Good grief. Might as well put some duct tape over it. I'm not gonna put duct tape on the window. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Truckers drive insane. Even the smallest pebble. You guys probably can't see that, huh? 
me zoom in a little bit. See that little thing that looks almost like bird poop, but it's not bird poop? That'll start to spread too and turn into yeah. something. Even the smallest crack will spread, guys. Uh, smallest pebble, guys. So, truckers drive insane. Sorry guys, my camera just won't focus. But yeah, uh, truck drivers in general, drivers, and camera drive insane. But it's mostly the truck drivers that damage our cars. Because sand flies out of them, and then the pebble from the sand will hit our window and basically start like the smallest crack. And then it turns out to be this right there. So, small crack, turns out to be that. So, keep that in mind for you uh, sand truck drivers out there. Uh, yeah, just don't drive like a bat out of yeah. Helium 11. They should be sweeping their beds off before they drive. Yeah, exactly. Sweep your beds off and vacuum it. Good. Let that be known, you guys. After you, you know, dump your load off, sweep your beds. All I'm saying, guys, it's not that hard at all to do. Now, I'm not knocking on you guys' job because you guys are probably rushing somewhere, but sweep off your beds. It, like, It's annoying when you guys damage our cars, like for real. I mean, it's not like, oh, car accident, we're gonna, you know, sue you. But, I mean, because it's not a car accident, it's debris, natural debris, falling off of the bed of your truck, coming out, flying at our windshield and breaking them, cracking them. So, yeah, thanks for that. Um, <laughs> didn't mean to bring the vlog down. But, um, I think, I'm not too sure, because, like, I'm new to this part. Uh, I've driven to Odessa multiple times. I haven't, but my mom over here has. She's got her hand on the steering wheel right now, so I'm not going to, like, make her freak out <laughs> by putting her on camera. But, um, ow, I just had an itch on my leg, because, like, I got attacked by ants yesterday, or the other day. But, uh, I think this is the Cap Rock, isn't it? Oh no. We got 10 more minutes to the Cap Rock, you guys, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Um, it's not as interesting. Um, and the rest of the town is kind of talking too much. No, I'd say. But, uh, excuse me, you guys. I think the Cap Rock's kind of interesting. Yeah, the, the Cap Rock itself is interesting, but that's probably the most interesting thing in town. Because. A, we have nothing haunted except for the cemetery, which we know cemeteries are obviously going to be haunted, but, I mean, Well, there's Indian burial grounds in Capra. Oh, oh. Your dad used to go back there. Somebody's farm was back there, somebody went to high school with, and they'd go back and get um, Indian relics and arrowheads and stuff. And oh, jeez. It was really neat. There was a lot back there. That's crazy. That was a good vantage point for them, you know, they could see yeah. miles around if, if somebody was coming, so that would be a good spot to be in and if, right. if you lived here. So yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. So not only was this place an ocean, but it was a place for Indians to kind of hide out and attack. The, in war and battle and hunt and stuff like that, so... Just protect themselves. Yeah. So, and the... I don't know if it still is, but the wind farm that's on top of the Cap Rock was the biggest one in North America. I don't, I don't know if it still is because they were coming up. It still is. But, I don't know. That's crazy, you guys. Um, but yeah, we're on the... Almost to the Cap Rock. You can kind of see the ridge of it. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to... Yeah, you guys can kind of see the ridge. 
So that's uh, that's the cap rocket, guys. Um, probably the most interesting thing in town, honestly, because um, um, once you pass the cap rock, it's just a bunch of boring bushes, not really trees or anything like that, but bushes, sand, grass, tumbleweeds, pretty much anything you would see in a western movie, you can see here, except for gunfights. Well, I mean, unless you're um, not really too many gunfights here, but a lot of other stuff you can see in westerns, like a land covered in sand with moss growing over it. Well, I don't really know if it's moss, but a grass type thing. Yeah, probably grass. And yeah, so grass, bushes, and tumbleweeds. And of course, my most oh, hated. Shoot, I forgot they were doing construction. Stickers. Dang it. <gasps> oh, they're doing construction here. I forgot. I didn't even know. Did uh, I read it yesterday. I knew it was here. I should have went the other way. Dang it. I guess they're doing construction here for something. Sure, Are they adding a road or something? I don't know. I just know that they're there. It's one lane. All right. I so. Think I did know that. I forgot. Dang it. That doesn't make us late. Yeah, that's probably gonna make us late to the eye doctor. Um, probably not, but I mean, look how slow traffic is going. I went from going crazy with people driving like bats out of heck, or helium 11, whatever you guys want to say. But <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> helium HE. Cause <laughs> where did you get that one? I know helium HE. Cause I made I made that one up actually. That one's funny, honey. <laughs> Welcome to the helium eleven. Welcome to what's the five eight? <laughs> Cause I'm five eight. Yes, I'm short. Deal with it. Well, average, still short, but average. But as you guys can see, it's just mainly weeds here. Sadly, not really any real. Plants. Weeds are plants. Don't get me wrong. They're just very annoying, aggressive, um, predatorial plants. So, like, say you had a fudge. My camera just defocused. Well, it didn't defocus, but it zoomed out. I have to zoom back in. Um, so, you guys learn about weeds, obviously, in, uh, I forgot where I, when I learned it. I think it was like either elementary or high school. Um, through biology or whatever. Um, basically, weeds are pred predatorial? Not all weeds are. I mean, um, something that wouldn't be... Um, what's the word? Um, native to the environment would be yeah. predatory. Something that's going to, like destroy other things yeah and take over that doesn't have a natural balance to the ecosystem would be predatory right but something that's natural here I think I read that tumbleweeds were predatorial that they weren't natural to the, uh, to the environment really I don't know if that's true or not I don't know but they've been here forever yeah but that's basically what you learn and you learn that you have to, you know, blow them down or weed eat them, hit them with a weed whacker, <laughs> as my dad would say. Oh, well, he'd probably say weed eater, weed whacker. I don't know, guys. Weed whacker, weed eater, same thing. Um, I choose weed whacker because, I mean, honestly, it doesn't eat them, it whacks them, chops them off. Um, but, this is basically the cap rock, you guys, I think, because it's getting a little bit more, like, mountain-like. Not yet, where the, where the wind, the wind um, mills are. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm going to turn the camera around as soon as we hit the windmills. But, yeah, Kermit's kind of, sort of ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Yeah. 
Um, cause it's covered in weeds, mostly. The weeds aren't what make it get them. And it's covered in abandoned looking houses. And a lot of abandoned stuff, like if you go to downtown Kermit, cause it's so small, the downtown Kermit is just close to in town Kermit. But if you go to downtown Kermit, there's a lot of abandoned buildings there too that like they're not actually abandoned yeah they look like they're abandoned but what it is is people not taking care of it no these people have that have been here a long time have purchased them really cheap to use for like storage buildings and stuff instead oh. of actual buildings and uh they're just kind of there some of them can use them for tax shelters as well instead of putting thriving businesses huh. in them which i think is just absolutely wrong yeah, it should be illegal. There could be other things that bring tax dollars into our community. Yeah. I, I think it could be a cute little downtown area like Roma's. Yeah. But, but these buildings are hurting the eco, uh, the economics of uh, Kermit. Yeah. I mean, my dad can probably tell you guys uh, what a thriving town it used to be because, I mean, it... There used it, to be three grocery stores when you yeah, was a kid. Three, but now there's only one. And it sucks. Ugh. From rotten apples to, like, ugh. They just do not have a... Excuse me, guys. They don't have a good thriving um, produce section. And, yeah. Nothing actually works in that store, I don't think. Which is kind of sad, to be honest, because... Uh, let's face it, Kermit... Uh, is not a boom town anymore. It used to be. It used to be a thriving boom town, actually. It started. Um, I can't actually tell you when it started becoming a boom town. Uh, a little bit after the turn of the century. I think it was 1920. Yeah, 1920, probably. I can't remember, but I think it was around 1920 when um, they had a tent city pop up, which is kind of like the man caves of that era. Jeez. But. Yeah, guys, um, my dad could probably tell you guys more than I could, because, again, I'm sort of new to this town. Not exactly new. Well, I've been here six years now. Six, I think, yeah. Five or six years now. It's Five or six, now. but, yeah. yeah, I haven't, like, gotten out enough or anything like that to actually know the history of the town and whatnot. Um... But my dad's been here long enough to know um, the history about the town. Because my dad was actually born and raised here. Uh, he was born in Monahans. Well, yeah, he was born in Monahans, but he was here. Yeah. He was well, he was born in Monahans, I think, because they were visiting. Uh, I think they were visiting Helen when your grandma was yeah. in labor. I think. I could be wrong. But I think the story goes that when she was pregnant, she was visiting Helen and had to go to the hospital in Monahans instead of the hospital in Kermit. Yeah. But they actually did live in Kermit. Yeah. So, my dad could probably tell you a little bit more about the history of this town. Um, so, when he gets home, I'll probably ask him on camera, um, you know, the history of this town. Um, and he can probably tell you what it, uh, yeah, it, it was boring then too, but it was thriving then. It had like three grocery stores, um, that's it was a good place to grow up in a small town environment. Yeah. Uh, three grocery stores, um, some restaurants, um, uh, uh, you sent, um, Yeah, they did, which is kind of stupid, because now... Now, I heard that the reason they did that is because kids were going in there and tearing it up. That they uh, actually took, like, um, a hammer to the sinks and toilets and stuff. Oh, jeez. And they couldn't afford to keep fixing it with these kids yeah. that kept tearing it up. I don't know if that's true or not, that's what I read online. If it is, that's very sad. Stop tearing things up, guys, because, like, uh, it's very annoying when people have to close things down just because you guys want to break stuff. 
that's not yours. Now, you can break your own stuff, guys. Just don't break someone else's stuff. Um, it's wrong, it's illegal, it's flat out stupid, because that business has to close down, and yeah. Uh, just flat out not good at all. Um, it's frustrating, but yeah. Knowing that just because you guys did that, it makes Kermit a little bit more boring. But hey, it's all good. We got our food. <laughs> Which is probably why we're all turning fat. <laughs> what? Kidding. Because we got food. Why are you talking about? Unhealthy food. Because it's all fast food. Um, it's not very good fast food. Oof. Yeah. I wish they'd open it. Roma's is good though. Yeah, Roma's is good. Somewhat healthy. But, um. No, it's not healthy at all. It's all butter. <laughs> you know, it's very good. Yeah. But it's, it's, no, it's not healthy. But we have DQ and Sonic, and that's pretty much about it. There's Subway too, but Subway's closed half the time. Because people that work there. Yeah. And it's not a very good Subway. And they wouldn't even hire me too, because like they were looking for business and they wouldn't even hire me. That was, mm -hmm. I was like, kind of like laughing, like, oh geez, haha, uh -huh. because like, here they are hurting for people, and here's a person that's actually willing to to go there and work, and they, yeah. But um. We're almost to the Cap Rock, but <coughs> traffic is going really slow, as you guys can tell. <coughs> uh, really something, you guys. But, no worries. We'll get there in no time. I am starting to yawn, though. Uh, to be honest. But, it's all good. We're all good here. But yeah, that's basically all about Kermit that I can tell you. Um, my dad could probably tell you more about Kermit than I can. Um, just because my dad's been here longer than I have. Um, he was born here, and then he went into the military and left Kermit. Well, no, he went into college first and left Kermit. And yeah, then he, went, in the he went to tech. And then, um... I think he moved down to Houston first before he went to the military. Oh, jeez. I, can, I, I can't remember, but I think he went, yeah. Because he lived in Houston for a short time. I think, before he went to the military. You'd have to ask him, but I, I, yeah. I think it was he went to Tech, then he came back. Then he went down and was living with Melinda and um, her boyfriend. Then I think he came back and went in the military and then moved to Houston after the military. Yeah, I think that's probably how it went. I think. But, after being born in Kermit, he just hated it to where he had to leave. He didn't hate growing up here, but um, he didn't want to Be around his here. father? No, don't say that stuff Or online. something, I don't know. He, he didn't want to spend his whole life here. He didn't want to live oh, here as an adult. Yeah. And then come to find out that it goes full circle. And I, I'm pretty sure the, the reason he, he went in the military was because um, they were having a bad bust here. Oh, yeah. And there weren't any jobs because it was even worse as far as oil field jobs go. If there's a bust, there's just no jobs at all. <laughs> but um, I, I think there was a bust and he couldn't find a job. And then there were some economic issues going on in the... the mid-80s, too, that made it kind of hard to uh, find a job in Houston as well. And, and Houston, you know, there's a lot of oil in Houston, too, yeah. so that makes a difference, too. I think that's why he went in the military, I think. Probably, because the military can offer you, like, more benefits and stuff. So. Yeah. There's a lot of experience that you can get from the military, but 
Alright guys, we're... Yeah. Yeah guys, uh, this is a little bit of the cap rock, as you guys can see. There's the cap rock, where all the windmills are and stuff. That's the cap rock. Sorry for the shaky camera, by the way. I'm trying to keep it steady. And then all that sand over there, um, that is where they're taking our sand hills to be fracked. Part of it. Yeah, well, it's that, that's only part of it, but um, it's disgusting. It is. It's really disgusting, you guys. They're taking our culture away. Because, A, we had sand hills first. And B, it's just wrong, because you're just screwing with natural environment, screwing with nature, and Lord knows that nature does not like to be screwed with. And it's, it's messed up that we have stooped to this level, but you guys can tell that it used to be an ocean, because like, all the rocks on the bottom um, as well. You can kind of tell that there was like little gaps and stuff between the sand. And there's all the windmills and stuff. So yeah, that's a... Um, it's basically all of the cap rock. Businesses and like Odessa is just or Midland is much bigger than Kermit. Um, it's still it is a city. It's just not like the big city that you guys are probably used to. But look at this place. Slaughterhouse. It is. It was years ago. Oh, I bet that place is so haunted. Like, by with cows? By cows, yeah. Haunted cows? Anything can be a, a, a haunted house. From, cause like, anything that has a soul can haunt the place. How do you know a cow has a soul? How do you know it doesn't? I don't. It's a living being, isn't it? It doesn't mean it has a soul. Does have a wolf and lamb in anything that. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying you don't know that it does. Yeah. So, yeah, that place used to be a slaughterhouse. That's kind of interesting. Um, they got a lot of people and animals died there. I don't think any people died there. Really? So, they just shut down. Wow. comes from so you guys were kind of curious <gasps> that that's kind of cool that was probably a girl driving that one sure it's pink yeah kind of cool though real man driving pink cars now <laughs> kidding guys um, don't do that um, but yeah that's where meat comes from and we are now off of the cap rock somewhat you can still see that we have small trees, but most of it is just complete death. And it's actually pretty green, I don't know about death. It's just flat and ugly. Yeah. Sorry for the shaky camera, you guys. I'm trying to keep it as stable as possible so you guys can kind of see the land. Um, but I'm going to cut it here, and then we'll be at the eye doctor uh, exchanging my mom's glasses for... A better prescription and then we'll be at, um, for dog food and um, bunny food and cat food 
So yeah. I will see you guys on the other All side. Alright guys, we just finished up at HEB and Walmart. Um, so... <gasps> Look at the dog! Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys probably can see it. This is really cute. This small. Whoa, look at those puppies. Or dogs. So cute. Alright, you guys. Uh, yeah. We are going now to HEB. Um, we finished again at Walmart. Or Walmart. PetSmart. Uh, and finished at the eye doctor as well. Um, yeah. That's all I gotta say. As of right now, we are heading to HEB, but honestly, it looks more like we're headed to Walmart. It's not an easy place to get out of. Yeah. Not an easy place at all. Um, so, yeah. This is what it looks like when they go into town sometimes. Um, like, look how stopped up the road is right now. Like, that is bad, you guys. Alright, guys, so, right now, we're going to HEB. I've said that multiple times already. Um, so, I'm gonna. Going to HEB and we'll see how it goes from there. Um, I don't know if I want to take my camera because I don't want to get mugged. So I don't think I want to take my camera in. Idiots, you guys. They're driving like bats out of well, Helium 11. Still. And we couldn't even get out of there. It's not a good spot to be anyway. Uh, anyway, right now we're going to GameStop. <laughs> Literally, it's right there, you guys. Right, right. I missed it! Dang it. Sorry, guys, I missed the shot. But we are going to turn around and go to GameStop. <laughs> Kidding. Um, no, we're actually going to HEB. Um, I was just messing with you guys. Um, we play too many games as it is. Briarwood Plaza. Oh, I thought it was Pizza Plaza. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to HEB and get some dinner, and then that'll probably be the end of the vlog for the day. Um, yeah. So. I'll see you guys later, guys. So the traffic is just terrible around here. But um let me show you the difference between Kermit and Odessa. Really not much, but um a little bit more trees. Um, oh this is Midland, my bad. This is not Odessa. Um a little bit more green. Um, some trees as well. There's really not many trees in Kermit, to be honest. <sighs> oh yeah, we went to Jamba Juice as well. Ooh, we should get Slotskis if they're open. Instead. That'd be good. A little bit more trees as, uh, yeah. A little bit more populated as well since it is, you know, the city. Um, it's not like a, a big city as you would think. Um, it is clarified as a city because it has more stuff to do. And stuff, it's not like a, a small town area. Yeah, we are headed to the HEB right now. I'll 
Also, guys, there's a little bit nicer houses here in Odessa than in Kermit. Uh, not much, but a little bit. So, we're gonna find the AGB. Which one are we going to? things that I can clarify about now. Nada! Um, so yeah, right now we're just kind of like driving back to ETB. Um, it's straight ahead, I think. to my phone. Oh, I thought that was a Fiat for a minute. It looked exactly like a Fiat. Like the, the body type was exactly like a Fiat. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna drop my camera here, you guys. Um, and have some of my Jamba Juice. And um, Alrighty, you guys. We are in the car. You good? Don't these people know I'm vlogging over here? I would do. Calling me when I'm vlogging. I don't like when people call me when I'm vlogging because I have the rest of my vlog. Um, don't they have any idea that's what you're doing? Huh? I know. It's a, a vlogger thing. Um, so. Yeah, we're gonna eat some M&M's. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save some of these for Dad. These are actually really good for your heart because <laughs> they're peanuts. And peanuts are good for you. Um, peanuts are inside, but they're uh, chocolate. So I don't know how good that is. But peanuts are good for you. The chocolate on the other hand. On the other hand, Jamba Juice. Yeah, guys, um, I'm out now. <laughs> um, it's very low to where the straw can't even get it, so I have to take 
Why not? What the heck? Look at those canoes. Where are those kayaks? Those are canoes, right? Because they're thinner? Yeah. Do it! So yeah, uh, I'm gonna eat some M&M's and I'll get my stomach a little bit full before dinner. Um, and then have a little bit of dinner. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit of what dinner is gonna look like, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know what potatoes and salad looks like. So I'm sure you guys don't need an idea of what potatoes and salad looks like. But, oh well. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be home in a little bit. Um, see you guys. Alright you guys, we are at the store. Um, not really sure what we're getting yet. Oh wait, yeah I am. Sweet potatoes. Stop. And that's pretty much all we're getting here. Um, so we're gonna get the sweet potatoes. Check out. Um, what did you see? Something that looks good? Huh? Huh? Ooh. Yes. That looks good, you guys. Looks really good. So yeah. Sweet potatoes and salad. That sounds really good. Um, Mom, do we need eggs? No? We're good? Alright. Just checking to make sure we don't need any eggs. Um, high cost. fun right now, trying to find the sweet potatoes, and I think they're in the, the uh, section, <laughs> I don't even know what, what, what it's called, produce, I think it's the produce section, I'm not sure, because some stores differ in sections, put them in different spots, kitchen and dining, We've had cups like these before, I think. I'm not really sure. Kind of interesting, you guys. Kind of interesting. I don't really know what I'm doing now. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for sweet potatoes. Ooh, bang. Those are nice. Those are actually really good energy drinks. Um, they're better for your heart.
Need some help? Or are you good? Do you need some help or are you good? Just two? Oh, okay. m and m Guys, these are good for you. It's a healthy snack. <laughs> uh, no, I'm filming right now. Actually, maybe. Sushi, but sushi is actually really good for you. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, we only had a few items. Yeah, guys, we're under 15, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. No, wait, two, four, five, six. Yep. We're under 15, you guys. So uh, I'm going to hit it here, and then I'll be back. I'm headed out. We're now in the parking lot of HEV. Um, yeah. I'm about to be in the car in a little bit. I've got a few groceries. Um, it's currently really hot. Um, yeah, straight ahead. made it um, well not just but we made it back um, this is the end of today's vlog um, I ate and stuff like that um, and we went into town and that was basically the highlight of today um, and then we're going into town again tomorrow but I don't think I'm gonna vlog it I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it tomorrow or not or Excuse me, today, or not today, um, yeah, because it'll be tomorrow, um, by the time, uh, I'm, uh, I post this, it's, uh, Wednesday, um, yeah, well, yeah, June 5th. So, tomorrow will be June 6th, Thursday. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm full and I'm tired. Um, I'm actually about to get my PJs on right now and um, go to sleep. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> That's basically all I had to say to this vlog. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to be bears, be bold, be awesome, and be your most... Or no. Live today and die tomorrow. And, uh, be your most original selves. And, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Deuces.